Hello, universe. Hating Android as much as always, but what else is new? <clears throat> I will be very excited when I say no more to you, smartphone. I'm uh, not sure if I'm going back to the old can and a string or what I'm going to do, but it's time to get rid of the constant presence of idiocy that Android is in my life. I never wanted to haul a Windows laptop around with me everywhere either, for a reason. Windows laptops are dismissive of the true value of life, just like Android is somehow lesser of a presence in my life. But I didn't get on to talk about Android, that's for damn sure. But hating you, Android, that's a daily ritual. So I hate you, Android. Now, on to better things. After a minute of Android hate comes the concept of information and access to it. <clears throat> I'm in a conundrum of galactic proportion for me. And <clears throat> I don't really have anywhere to go with it except possibly public. And I say possibly because the idea of getting underneath my own platform here and elevating it with the confidence of, well, yeah, 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 from a crowd, I don't know. I mean, mass delusion doesn't make it any more or less delusional. It just makes it wider. It just drives the audience numbers up, gives it better ratings, turns it into some... YouTube phenomenon of stupidity and irrelevancy in the long run. I don't want to participate in that kind of hmm. information access. But knowing something and understanding it, these are concepts I've obviously spent more time wandering in the forest of than I should, but how can you know something but not understand it? Well, you can be given glimpses of something beyond the pale and thus know something in its formulaic process but not understand why that formulaic process occurred. You could see somebody disappear into the Star Trek transporter device but not understand how it is that just happened. You just know what you saw. Somebody disappeared. Well, when they reappear, perhaps it's nothing more than just a trick of your mind. Something nobody else in the room is even seeing. Perhaps it's just you. Or perhaps, <clears throat> again, you've been given a glimpse of something to which the understanding is far beyond the pale but which, at least in the knowledge of what you've seen, there is confidence that it must be that way. I don't know why, but you must be able to dematerialize and rematerialize as yourself. I've seen someone do it. <laughs> well, <clears throat> okay, right? That's... That's just, that's just the incident. That's just the gaining of a portal into a paradigm to which you are not a part. You are now privy to a speck, a dust particle in a landscape filled with knowledge base. And you have that little dust particle floating around, kicking around, God knows doing what. And it's so little of a picture of what the bigger picture really represents that you're left befuddled. In fact, your picture, because you naturally pull it into the framework that exists for yourself, you force it into the knowledge base that is your reality, well, in doing so, you completely change the overall 
representation of that moment in time. Perhaps it's a timeless moment, and thus forcing it into a structure of linear time creates a malfunction in the interpretation, however basic you make that interpretation. Because, again, you failed at the very first step, which is do not interpret data in a timeless fashion through the lens of a linear time structured 3D reality. It does not work. So, what do you do with information that feels Um, representative of larger picture intuition. Let me give you an example. Uh -oh. Looks like I have to take a call. You'll have to pause there, recorder. Okay. Got the call from mom settled. Now let's talk more about. Oh. Hi, kitty. Got the kitty up. That was a mistake. Um, okay, cycles of energy are something that, yeah, I understand in theory that the natural order of cosmic consequence seems to strive toward a harmonic balance of some sort. Um, it feels like that uh, energetic plane exists here on planet Earth. Nature does seem to find a way to even out that which is imbalanced in its constructs, including the infringement, I believe, of humankind into its depth and platforms, but regardless of our misgivings, um, it would seem that there is larger flow energy cycling this universe. And I believe working in, uh, well, in its most, um, uh, I don't want to say conflicting incarnation, because I don't mean that, but I, I think there are harmonic existence platforms on plane, uh, no, let's not organize it that way. There are um, energetic confluence um, points of existence, uh, of which we're participating in the binary version. Uh, there is a tri and a quad version. I don't know what those energetic levels are, but I'm pretty sure if you go into anything higher than that, and that may be the next dimension up. I don't understand any of that dimensional shit. And I've done a lot of research there. None of it resonates as absolutely true. Some of it seems like there is some, some sound... Um, physics potential in its constructs. Sacred geometry, as much as anything, seems to unlock some of the lattice elements that I believe are alive as energetic intertwining elements that may be influencing us without revealing themselves. But none of this do I propose as solid enough truth behind which to hitch a wagon and start to look for further truth. If I find that stuff, I would be the first to share it. What I do find true is that we can't escape the energetic cycles that are influencing us, even if we can't see them, detect them, or even infer them through the lenses that we're limited to view the universe in this binary uh, <coughs> uh, 3D space-time, linear-time lens that we have forced on ourselves, which I believe we have forced on ourselves to participate in a grand experiment that is this planet's opportunity to utilize free will and creation to create the best version of existence and reality available. So far, I think we're failing at that, but I think we have succeeded at it or even hit the subliminal ascension point in regard to this type of event in the past. And so, why do I think any of this? <laughs> well, the first answer is going to obviously be from somebody saying, well, too much YouTube. I agree with that. Part of the reason I'd like to get rid of my um, 
cell phone is I don't know that there's a whole lot of rabbit hole digging on YouTube that's worth your time. <clears throat> and, whoa, um, in, in having um, dreamt or experienced certain uh, situational um, knowledge gains, uh, going to chase down how that knowledge might actually be valid. In other words, coming from knowing to understanding something has been a pursuit of the last decade of my life, if not my entire life, really. And in most ways, I've been trying to reinforce the paradigm that exists with the knowledge and, and, um, and data available through university and traditional structure until it failed me. And it failed me more in the 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 lack of accommodation for new evidence in the current paradigm is untenable for me. And the idea that you have to go in some extreme circumstance of knowledge gain, whether you be a conspiracy theorist or a a lunatic fringe, uh, uh, lunatic, literally. If you try to explain to people that crop circles are full of mysticism, it is plainly evident. But nine out of ten people who are locked in the paradigm that exists today will flatly brush you off. Is it worth pursuing them and showing them the evidence so that you might open their mind? In some cases, absolutely. But in most cases, no. Because even if I can unlock you on crop circles, that doesn't mean that you're going to take the necessary circuitous routes. Routes? I almost said rabbit routes. Did I want to say rabbit holes? Who knows? But if you're not willing to push beyond that envelope, well, you're just going to open one set of circumstance that does feel somewhat mystical. You can do the same thing with UFO sightings. You can do the same thing with ancient technology. There are all sorts of paradigms that have evidence that make them legit. But this one, this filled with faith of energy cycling through, of the masculine and the feminine, of the rise and fall of both, of the enshrinement of the cooperation between them, of how humanity has risen in its capability to cooperate, to use its social cohesion as the force that makes it work. I don't know how Toth or Thoth or whoever built the goddamn Great Pyramid of Egypt, but I know it was done hundreds of thousands of years ago. And yeah, try to wrap your head around that shit. It's not fun. What the fuck does that mean? Seriously, what what does that one fact alone mean? But I know I'm right. But I don't understand any of it. Just like I know I am incarnated in this moment. Because if I'm not in touch with my emotional side, if I haven't brought that which is the feminine into this form that is the masculine then something's going to go awry. Something huge still sits on our timeline potential. I'm not sure we've crossed through the incident, as it were. I fear every day that it's literally next. But again, there is no point. If we've missed it, then life has all sort of opportunity it didn't have before. And if it's imminent, well, then nothing's changed. And it's time to be the best version of me I can be. It's funny. <clears throat> the call from my mom reinforced the fact that doing according to others' agendas often works out best for them just as much as it works out best for you. Everything in my life is working out best. It's just up to me to see it and up to my dog to cough it out. <clears throat> Having her around another day is treasure to me, obviously. Every day I look down at that 
now basketball sized tumor. It makes me feel she's got to be in so much pain. But she keeps smiling. She keeps getting up for food. She keeps getting up for everything that we do. She just does it slower and with less energy. Well, I can say that for all of us. But the energetic cycle that's coming through next, that push, it's the counter push to all of what the 20th century represented that worked against us. The next rush of energy coming through humanity, they suffered World War II. They suffered Vietnam. They suffered all of it. And if you think suffering is something that continues, well, no, absolutely not. But being lulled into complacency, being snared in a place where you're not expected to have ended up, being trapped in a lifestyle that feels like it's not you, being consumed by a thought that you've been taken into the wrong place, that you don't belong here, well, those energies are ending because we all belong here. And that which has been able to continually convince us otherwise, well, no more of that do we need to listen to. There are too many of us. If you know what I'm talking about, then this makes sense to you. And if you don't, then it doesn't matter. But now is the time to believe not just in yourself, but in those around you that are you know are speaking truth. I've never said anything that I didn't think was 100% the truth to you. So from here forward, everything you come to understand with me, and frankly without me, will be the truest thing and the most purposeful thing we all need to understand. This isn't some zealot telling you how it all works. I just know I'm right. Hmm. Hey, universe. <clears throat> Good morning. It is 9.19 on this, the 26th, Friday, the 26th of August. In uh, some year, somewhere, somehow, <clears throat> that I don't pretend to quantify against a clock other than one that I'm told again having trouble with all sorts of shit and this one's been long overdue in the making um, I figured the <clears throat> most succinct way to convey what I'm trying to come to grips with to settle in my own head to accept <clears throat> thoroughly with the sort of confidence that comes with understanding something rather than just knowing it. But the things I seem to know, the things I seem to have access to, well, I guess that's the point. Access. Access to information. <clears throat> access to a voice that's listenable, that would be rather succinct in its own way. <clears throat> Maybe I should go have a drink of water. Doing this in the morning might be more than my voice can handle. Hang on. Okay. Maybe better, who knows. But access to information. One of the things I take for granted as a human being is that if I know something and you ask me about it, I'm going to tell you what I know you what I know. <clears throat> In the very rare exceptions that there is something of a challenging nature to obscure from public disclosure, um, it would still become obvious in some capacity that I had something to say but was hiding it from you. <clears throat> At least if your lie detector test has any shit value of any value, not any shit value. Felt like cursing, I guess, this early in the morning. <clears throat> My goodness. I'm a little... You know what? I think we're going to start this one over. This is too flimmy. Maybe I'll put this at the end. We'll see if there's anything even remotely valuable to say in there. But got to go blow my nose and do my pregame routine because so far this is nothing but... Pause.
unlistenable?